So the streets is saying that Francis Ngannou got robbed. And I got to tell the streets that uh, you're wrong. Because I watched the fight. And what I saw was not a robbery. I knew people were going to say that it's a robbery. But it's easy to get caught up in, <clears throat> in the waves of life. You know? Sort of like when people see, I don't know, uh, cryptocurrency going up. They want to automatically, what is it, buy? And then the shit goes right down and then they lose all their money. Or they see it going down and maybe they want to sell and then it goes right back up. You know, it's like, you got to chill, bro. You got to chill. You bust your nut too early, dog. Chill. So, watching that fight over, well, I have to watch it back over. But this is just first reaction. Uh first reactions i'm watching it as the fan i'm not really watching and analyzing you know i'm not able to break it down frame by frame and you know so watching it first reaction watching it as a fan seeing it i try to watch it as objectively as possible put myself in the shoes of what i know people are going to say and then assess whether that's actually what's going on that's what i try to do as best as i can and when i was watching it i had fury winning round one I think a lot of people were surprised that it was as close as it was round one. But even then, it's like a filling out process. So maybe I mean, it's a filling out process. But I think that Fury was coming out on top of that first round. Second round, obviously, 10-8 uh, in Ganu because the knockdown. You could maybe give Ganu round three. And then Ganu definitely won round eight because Fury like started gassing out of nowhere, which was fucking weird. He only gassed in that round, and then he was fine in round 9 and 10. But maybe that was like some, you know, cocaine shit that he pulled with the Wilder, you know, when he came from the depths of hell after getting knocked down, just got out of nowhere like The Undertaker, just got up out of nowhere like The Undertaker. You know, maybe that was like that kind of same energy he, he's drawing from that power, whatever that Tyson Fury cocaine-fueled power is, you know, that nobody knows about. I think maybe that's what he pulled to, to come back in rounds 9 and 10 and be able to jab up uh, Nganu and outbox him. But that being said, Fury definitely won round uh, 9 and 10, 10-9. 10 uh -huh. And he won round 1, for sure. Round 2 was Nganu. And round 3, uh, you could probably give Nganu. And round 8 is Nganu. The other ones in between, I think those are the ones I'll have to rewatch. But I remember watching and saying, round four was Fury, round five was Fury, round six was Fury, round seven. Right? And that, like, it, that's, just, that's just how I see it. That's just how I see it. Um, I didn't got him winning three rounds, one round in 10-8, so. But, hey, it's no robbery. I think you guys felt that, uh, I think a lot of people feel that because Nganu was the underdog, the big underdog and he wasn't supposed to win that at all he did as well as he did and it was as close as it was that he should have got that decision but i don't think so i don't think like just objectively let's say it's not even Nganu, it could be you sick that's not a that's not a win for the other guy right but this definitely does it definitely does make things interesting because he knocked down tyson fury which i always thought was a possibility i didn't think it was going to happen but I thought it was a possibility. And to me, it looked like Tyson Fury wasn't like he didn't train seriously for this fight. I like which is why he fucking gassed in round eight. He had way more of an intense fight with way more output in the Wilder fights, the Wilder two and three, because the nature of his strategy was to put it on Wilder and overwhelm him. Right. Put him on the back foot. Just keep pushing him back. Put his weight on him like that fight would be a lot more physically demanding and he didn't gas in that one but in this one he started to gas in round eight which was fucking weird so i don't think I, I don't think he actually took this fight at least the training seriously and it's not like a cope sort of thing i don't really need to cope for tyson fury he's not my favorite boxer let alone fighter um i it just didn't look like the tyson fury that we've seen in the past especially in terms like tyson fury has always had some pretty decent cardio He's, he's never been one to gas like that. That was fucking weird. And, it, and, and Ghanu really wasn't putting it on him either. Maybe it was the body shots. 
you know, we will have to see what he says, you know, after the fight, um, maybe in, in some interviews or whatever, posts on social media. Maybe it was the body shot, sucked the air out of him. Maybe that worked. I don't know. Um, but we've, I, we've never seen him. People have tried to have invested in the body to uh, Fury before, and that's never affected him like that. So I just think it's a thing of not training, right? And um, I mean, not training the way they should, not taking the fight seriously. And yeah, and Gano was doing a good job of landing that check hook and forcing Fury to fight. And I don't know why Fury fell into this frame of Nganu with waiting he should have just been like okay you want to wait I'm gonna just outbox you I'm gonna just use my jab what he did in rounds nine and ten he should have did that from the get-go but he he, I, he wanted to be on the front foot like he said he wanted to push Nganu back and he, whenever he threw that cross there was that hook that came right over and he would keep throwing that and eventually he got knocked down but yeah and with that knockdown it makes things interesting because now there's a, there's a guy that uh, is connected to this fight in some way, Deontay Wilder. Because Deontay Wilder has knocked down I, I, Fury, I think, every single fight that they've had. And he knocked down Fury two times in their first fight. I think even in the, their last fight, he knocked Fury down, like, twice, too. Maybe even three times. He knocked him down. You know, and he's knocked him down numerous times in uh, multiple of their fights. And people are debating. It's always been a debate who hits harder between Wilder and 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 uh, and Ganu, right? Now they have a common opponent, and and Ganu went all all uh, ten rounds. Wilder's been finished twice now by Fury. First fight was. Uh, all 10 rounds, but that was Fury when he was like, you know, just he was battling addiction and depression and shit like that, right? So he wasn't like in the best boxing, like he just came from a long hiatus. That being said, though, this fight could be interesting. It could either be interesting or disappointing. Because the buildup for the fight is obviously going to be based on who's the harder puncher, who hits the hardest in the world. Right? Who has the hardest punch? Is it Wilder or is it Nganu? A lot of people were saying that Wilder would beat him, but considering that Nganu does have the answer for the cross, which is that check hook, it does make things interesting. But Wilder is faster. He's not as good defensively or as elusive, but he is faster and he also recoils and gets back quicker than Fury does on the cross. And he also is better at setting up that cross, because that's his main bread and butter, than Fury is. But that's his main weapon, too. He has that jab, and he uses the jab as a blinder, and then he finds that cross. And he's been working off, he's been working on power off the back foot. So the fight is a lot more interesting than a lot of people may give it credit for. I see Ngannou going in that fight and being on the front foot, being the aggressor, and putting his weight on Fury, I mean not Fury, on Wilder, making Wilder carry his weight like uh, Fury did. And using that to gas him out. And I see Wilder using that jab to tie him up Francis and find that right hand like he always does. The thing is though, we don't know how well uh, Francis will take Wilder's shot, right? He could take it really well. He has a really good chin and we've never really seen him rocked before. It looked like he kind of sort of got rocked by like the fir one of the first crosses that Fury landed, or but I'm not sure. I have to rewatch it. Like he kind of sort of did, but he was good. Wilder though, we don't know how well he's gonna take that shot. He's gonna end up really getting hurt by Wilder, and that would just be interesting. I could see that really becoming like a thing. I could see that fight really being a big thing. There's a lot of money to be had in that fight too. There's a lot of intrigue on. Who's more dangerous? Who's the harder puncher? And Ganu just validated himself by having this close fight with him, with with uh, Fury, and a lot of people think he won because robbery is trending on Twitter right now. So I think that that is a good. If Francis and Ganu does fight next, I think it's a good fight to have next. If not, I mean, hey, I mean, let him let him get more acclimated to boxing. Give him like some feeder fight. Or maybe not feeder, but like, you know, someone who's lesser competition. Give him Hellenius. It's a common opponent between Anthony Joshua and Wilder, two of the top guys in the division. Uh, he's been knocked out by both guys. 
and it'll let you know, like, what's up? Like, can he really knock out these top guys? We've seen him knock down Fury, but Fury got up relatively quickly. So we want to know, can he knock, like, is he in that, is he really in that tier with these guys? Or was this like a fluke, just bad performance by Fury? Because if he goes against Hellenius and he puts it on him and he beats his ass, he knocks him out, beats him worse than, let's say, Joshua did, or just knocks him out just as badly and quickly as Wilder did, that'll tell us everything we need to know. But if he's he's fighting for his life with Hellenius, that'll probably tell us everything that we need to know, right? It'll probably tell us everything we need to know. So, yeah. I don't know how serious he wants to take this box of stuff, but... That's just me throwing shit out there. Is there anything else that I wanted to add in this? No, I mean, hey, this wasn't a disappointment. It was actually, it actually, I, I got a little bit nervous for Tyson Fury because I was like, hey, look, if you lose this, buddy, this is not good. This is not good. Like, you are the face of boxing, my nigga. You are one of the faces of boxing. You got Canelo, Javante Davis, and Tyson Fury. I know Javante Davis is controversial because he doesn't, like, hold any major belts and all that. But you can't deny uh, the guy's pretty big. You know, um, and yeah, yeah, that Ryan Garcia Javante fight is like, yeah, people don't care as much about Haney and not even Shakur, even though he's respected by a lot of boxers, but this is what it is. But that's just my opinion, guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and uh, I'm out. Peace.